Hello, my name is Raylene Gardner and welcome to my short tutorial on the importance of having a clear instructions for students on discussion forums. Thank you. The key question is, what are discussion forums? What do you think are discussion forums? Monoka 2023 states that discussion forums are usually a rich and flexible forms for both professionals, students, and teachers to support. It's a platform where people can engage and communicate, they can learn, and they can foster their professional identities. And lastly, it's considered an avenue for teachers and students to feel comfortable and relaxed to express their, themselves by writing, documenting their thoughts about an idea or or idea of interest. So one may ask the question, why do you think it's important for me to have clear instructions when on discussion forums? These are the questions the students might be asking, and I'm, I'm just posing this to you as teachers. What it does to the students, it provides them clear direction on what they need to do, how they need to do it, and the timeline. It, it limits them from making simple mistakes. Because if everything is outlined clearly and articulated clearly, mistakes will not be made when you get the responses back or when you try to argue, well, you wouldn't see the mistakes in the responses. And it causes students um, not to become disorganized. When students don't have clear instructions, their minds and the way they write and what they say is very disorganized. So it's important to have an organized structure when you're trying to give clear instructions for discussion forums. So what are elements that produce good instructions on a discussion forums? According to Gillian 2023, they are concise and substantiated instructions, instructions that are clear, concise, and to the point, and it clearly dictates what is required of the student. You need to have good technology tools. There are many technology tools, but there are certain key technology tools that are adequate and should be supported for discussion forums. And we'll get into that a little later. It conveys meaningful information to the students. And they are provided with adequate parameters. When to start, when to finish, how many words should be stated, the length of the, the, how it should be structured in terms of APA style, the rubrics, all those parameters, and how many times should you respond back to your pairs, what type of forum it is for, um, all that information. And lastly, it's parameters for engaging and collaboration. Now we know that discussion forums, that it is a platform for engaging, collaboration, communication, but the thing is, you can collaborate and communicate with people all over the world at one time. So it's parameters made for engaging and, and collaboration, student awareness and learning outcomes can be received at the end of it. Thank you. What are concise and substantial instructions? So what do you think it is? When you look at a discussion forum and the requirements, it should be step by step from A, B, C, and D. These are the things that need to be done. These are how it should be done. The rubrics gives clear description on how you, if your answer will be evaluated. The grade, the percentage that we receive that's aligned with the criteria and whether it can range from excellent to unsatisfactory. It states who the audience is. Who the audience is, whether it's a teacher, whether it's a student, who your audience you're catering to, who and how you're going to respond to them. And it indicates the learning outcomes. What are what do you plan to achieve at the end of this discussion forum? What do you what is your what is your what your goal is? What do would you like to understand at the end of it? What do you would you like to see done? And who would you like to reach? So what are the some of the tools that can be used? For collaboration, you can use Google Documents, which is good for collaborating to and from individuals. Multimedia, which is Padlet. Everybody, everybody uses Padlet, 
but some people use it for other format. Padlet is considered a multimedia technology tool that is very effective for online discussions. A discussion starts, which is prompted by the facilitator or a facilitator prompts the student to start a discussion and they respond once or twice or how many times that is required according to the instructions. So Padlet gives this open online form where you can see all the answers and you respond based on the requirements for the assignment. And lastly, YouTube. Most people are using YouTube's now all over the world. One thing about YouTube for discussion forums is that you could be on live on a YouTube platform. You can respond, you can communicate with the live information. But the takeaway is that you can take that information. It could be saved. You could listen to it over and over and over again. And you don't have to be present at that course or wherever it's taking place or doing the discussion to participate in that forum. Social media provides this outlet through YouTube. So here are for, for photos of these technology tools, Google Docs. Um, you can see a YouTube discussion forum and Padlet, like I mentioned to you. It's an open platform on the internet where one posts an answer, the next one responses. We can see how it is done here. And these are things that you can incorporate as a facilitator or teacher when you're doing an online discussion. Use these particular technology tools. So for example, here are some teachers present in an online discussion, um, some animated photos that you can look at. They're not physically there, but they're there and you can see how it appears. You can see how it appears. So when you do these discussion forums, what are the benefits at the end? Of what do you want to achieve? Why is it important for you to receive these outcomes? What are the benefits? Shared interest. Interest is shared amongst persons that are actually on the forum because you're you're on one mind, you're speaking together as a group, and your the thought processes or the information that is shared is shared amongst everyone that's participating in that discussion forum. Asynchronous collaboration, which is important which promotes collaboration, engagement, student learning outcomes, all of that information. Constructive new knowledge. Constructive new knowledge is, is achieved when someone posts their thoughts, you read it, you review it, you understand it, you have a clear understanding according to what that person has, what they're saying. Um, so new knowledge is constructive because you're learning from each other. Flexibility, convenience, accessibility. You have the flexibility to learn when you want to post when you want to and it's convenient and it's accessible open information records for instruction so for instructors or teachers like who you are you can save that information it could be recorded it could be kept for future um assessments or information that you want to receive later on down so that ends my short tutorial here are the references hope you enjoy thank you